good morning everybody welcome to the first weekend in my apartment alone officially alone this is so weird for me and like a big step for me if you guys have been watching me for a while because i'm someone that struggles with being alone a lot and yeah i'm working on it i'm getting there i honestly have been proud of myself for the last like 12 hours just for being so independent and being here and being alone and being okay with it honestly what helps me the most is just like keeping busy and yeah i actually recorded my first podcast episode last night Woo! and so i edited all of that listened to it through so that kept me really busy and not too lonely at all um that should be coming soon so excited about it link down below definitely check it out because i haven't really talked about it in a video yet so yeah most exciting and first we are going to stall to keep myself busy <laughs> okay and also if you saw me opening my window opening the curtains the shades i was so excited to walk and like listen to a podcast on the way there because it's like a mile away it's freaking so rainy out you can't even like see my view it's so cloudy and rainy and dreary and i looked and i think it's like 45 degrees out so i actually don't even think I can walk or that would be smart because I would get there freezing cold and wet and probably late at this point so I think I'm going to drive which is sad because I thought that it was still gonna be like walking weather but I don't think it is okay last thing because I should leave right now why did I like put this sweatshirt on with this outfit it does not go at all whatever too late to change um i wanted to show you i just got these new leggings from fabletics the other day if you guys saw my most recent vlog and they just feel so new and crisp and like putting on a fresh new pair of leggings is like the best feeling ever so i'm so excited to work out in them i'm like really hyped <laughs> it's the little things that oh. literally killed me Don't i look like so this bad. Bad. i can tell and my heart rate's really high, you know when like under your eyes is red and like veiny like, almost? Yeah. Me. So also, I can use it. I can be too on any of my redness. I'm just so, I'm so out of soul shape. And we just sit soul survivor people. I know, I like forgot to be survivor done now. I was like, because the first one was so long, I was like, this has got to be. Well, and then the seven minutes long. There was half the There was seven minutes like, run. I was like, no thanks. I get up and leave. Okay, I'm being really dramatic, basically. Oh, I didn't even vlog in there. We went to Blue Bottle. Guys, first time drinking a matcha that doesn't taste like the aquarium. Because most of them taste like a dirty She aquarium. was like, it's literally not good. And I'm like, I swear oh. it is. Get the one from Blue Bottle with oat milk. It's and it's really, really good. good. Yeah. yeah. But she said it's better with cinnamon, but I've already drank half of it without. So I don't know how much more better it can and get. And so I literally just went to Italy and bought this $10 little jar of cinnamon because I need cinnamon in my matcha that bad. And they don't have it at Blue Bottle. Things and normally so at the Blue Bottle um, that I go to, there's a Starbucks down the street. So then I just go there really quick, steal their cinnamon all as well. But here, no cinnamon. <laughs> it's literally just like open. Should I get like a little spoon? We'll just pour it slowly. Oh, I'm so scared so for you, Gretchen. You Be careful. I like a lot of it. I'm so <laughs> scared. You putting more? Gretchen wants to compete sprinkle. in the cinnamon challenge. All right, I guess I'll try a little. But this is my <laughs> technique. This. I literally put this much cinnamon on. You do a little in the Because it's that good. In the cap. Oh, yeah. And then you transfer oh, it. Oh, wait, so that's you know. really smart. Yeah. And then you just have a little sprinkle well, yeah. instead of a lot of sprinkle. And I drink it with no straw so that I get all that cinnamon in my mouth. <laughs> I'm literally psychopath. Are you sure you just like the cinnamon or do you actually like the matcha? <laughs> I like the cinnamon. We are in the Prudential Center. I was telling my vlog how I was being so independent and alone all weekend, and here I am. I'm back and I can't wait to shower. I literally look so scary because it's like rainy out and I was so sweaty. And I realized I didn't even show you what happened. This is so embarrassing. I was walking from Blue Bottle and the Prudential back to my car where it was parked kind of far away, and I was crossing the street like while like snapchatting <laughs> while drinking my matcha and i feel like i i don't even know how it happened it happened so suddenly and i guess i spilled my matcha all down my sweatshirt it looks a lot worse than this because it was like wet too so it was like dark green and it looks like i literally like threw up on myself it was so embarrassing and like everyone walking by sees this like oh my gosh and i really hope matcha comes out because i haven't ever spilled matcha on anything so Cross your fingers. I wanted to tell you though, these leggings were so fun and I was so excited to spin in them and yeah, they were really great. I feel like I normally don't spin in the power hold leggings though that much. 
I'll do, I think it's called like the Oasis ones and just the more like thin, like spandexy feeling ones that I have just because these are so thick. But when I do spin in them, like there's pros and cons. I really like how they just suck you in and I don't have to pull them up at all. That's my favorite thing about the power hold leggings is that they're so snug and they just fit so great that they stay up and they don't slip down because there's nothing more than I hate them. There's nothing more that I hate than leggings that slip down. But yeah, like I said, I normally just do like the thinner ones because these get really toasty because they're so thick. It feels like a hot, a hot spin class. <laughs> like a hot yoga, but like a hot spin. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna shower. And as you saw, my weekend alone <laughs> so far hasn't been that lonely because I was with Natalie and I'm actually going to the home opener, like first game of the season for the Bruins game tonight. And it's gonna be so exciting. And I'm going with Maggie and Emma. So it's really not that lonely. And honestly, not to be dramatic, but like FaceTime saves the day because I got to my parking garage and FaceTime Brooke and we talked for a while and I'm like, I feel like I'm just hanging out with her. And like, I just urge you if you feel lonely to just text your friends all day long or FaceTime because I don't feel lonely. And being here has honestly been nice. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm so dramatic is alone for one day. Like I exclaim like how independent I am, but it's been nice. Like obviously I'm sure I'd get lonely if Taylor like never came back, but she's coming back tomorrow night. <laughs> And it's just nice, like, I did the dishes, and so there's, like, no dishes in the sink. Or everything is, like, how I left it. Like, Brooke would always talk about that, but now I understand what she means. And I, like, cleaned the countertops left last night, and everything is how I left it. So, that's a cool part about being alone in my apartment. This is all just so new to me, you know? But I feel like it could work against you if I, like, leave crap somewhere. Instead of Taylor picking it up, it's still there because she's not here. And Taylor is so neat. Basically, I am texting like Max all day long, Maggie, Emma, Snapchatting, Natalie, my mom, Lucy, Taylor, Hannah, like literally Arlen, Louisa, Juliet, like everyone. I feel like I'm also lucky. Like I need to just recognize like how privileged and lucky that I am to have like such a big support group of friends and just family that I can always stay in contact with because I know it's like not that easy for some people and obviously so many of them are here in Boston so even if I'm alone at my apartment I can go see Maggie and Emma and with them I'm really lucky because they're literally my neighbors. Same with Arlen, um, Brooke is like not that far so yeah. Uh, weekend alone has been good so far but also it's good. I feel like I could, <laughs> So dramatic. I don't know if I could actually live alone, but being here alone is good because now I'm gonna shower and like be pr really productive. And like Max doesn't live here anymore to like distract me or me be like, oh, I just want to like cuddle with Max and like watch a movie or something. Like I actually have to do what I have to do because it's just me living with myself. If that makes sense. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna shut up and go shower. <laughs> See what I mean, you guys? I was just about to FaceTime Max, so. My phone's all set up <laughs> to FaceTime. But first, I'm taking my little stain spray, and you guys are just gonna come on this journey with me. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna wash it right away. Is this even the right thing to be doing? Who knows? One day I'll be a mom, and then I'll know. Moms know everything, right? So, cross your fingers. I haven't vlogged in a while. We're at Bar Taco, and you're just bonus. I didn't even know you were coming, so this is so fun. We've been spending so much time together. Here we are. It's always packed in here. Always. We love Bar Taco. Hi. <laughs> the Bruins game. <laughs> They're playing the Devils. We're in the third. guys let's chat I feel like we haven't yeah I haven't seen you since the Bruins game last night so basically to recap last night was so much fun you guys we went to a bar taco in the seaport it's always so much fun over there and then we went to the home opener with Bruins game so that was like so fun that we were able to do that obviously it's the next morning it's Sunday now and today is officially my last day of being in my apartment alone this weekend yay but um I've 
yeah, really been enjoying being here alone, getting things done. I didn't even show you yesterday, but I like vacuumed my whole apartment. Anyway, so right now I actually have something so exciting and fun to talk to you about. Are you ready? So if you guys didn't know about my favorite app, Seed It, you're gonna hear about it now. But I know I've talked about it in videos and like Instagram stories before. So thank you so much Seed It for partnering with me on this video because you guys know what a big fan I am of you. And if you guys didn't know, I actually found Seed It through my hairdresser. This is so random, but um, um, we were chatting and he was like, Gretchen, I know you go out to eat all the time. And my other client was telling me about this app Seated. Like, you should totally download it because you get rewards back from eating out. And I was like, what? And I remember I downloaded it right then and there. And I was like, this is so sick. And I literally booked a reservation for me and Max to eat out that night. And let me tell you guys, if you haven't tried it, you need to download it, especially if it's in your city. So basically I reached out to them and was like, I would love to do a YouTube video for you guys because I'm so obsessed with your app. So here we are, this is so fun. So yeah, this is just really fun because I literally found them and reached out to them and asked if I could like promote them to you guys because I'm so obsessed with their app. But basically the little rundown is click the link in my description to download Seated for free obviously. And yeah, it's just my favorite app because you get so many rewards back from eating out to places that you already eat out at. And I would use it all the time, especially with Max, on like a date night. And basically all you do is snap a little picture of your receipt after, upload it, and it differs depending on the restaurant, but you can get up to 30% back. Literally in rewards and this little like balance on your seated account. And then you can use it to redeem at all these stores on there. There is literally Target, Amazon, Lululemon, SoulCycle, Adidas, Nike, Target. Like the list goes on and on. It's insane. So for me especially, obviously Soul SoulCycle as I'm wearing a SoulCycle sports bra, so ideal. Like I literally don't have to pay for my SoulCycle classes. The biggest thing that I was like, if you guys remember when I first found them before they're sponsoring this video or anything, I literally made a story and I was like, am I I okay like how have I not found this before did all of you guys not know about this because this app is literally insane Max didn't pay for coffee every morning for like months because we would just go out to an expensive dinner he would get like 30% back and then buy Starbucks gift cards and yeah just very ideal so basically I would totally recommend like why wouldn't you try it and I know there's over a thousand restaurants on there so chances are there's gonna be one that you like. You can literally look at all the different types of food. And I know right now they're in New York City, Boston, Philly, Atlanta, and Chicago. So especially if you live in one of those cities, like for sure download it. And even if not, if you know you're gonna like go visit, like I'm literally visiting Max this week in, well, he's outside of Philly in Reading, but I know we'll like go into Philly. So this is literally perfect. I'm gonna text him right now and be like, we have to remember to use see it when we like go out to dinner in Philly because it's just so ideal getting money back. And if we would ever go somewhere and forget to like reserve on there that we were going at a certain time, you can also just do walk-in so you still get rewards back. And you guys, I have something really excited. So basically, this is the seated app right here when you go to your little like profile. So you can see like the past rewards I've earned. Amazon, Starbucks. I used Lyft. Like I literally didn't have to pay for Lyft. Target, Lululemon, like so ideal. And I know they also have like experiences on there. If you guys like want to do that, like we can see what's on there. This is like a member dinner gala, like stuff like that. It'll just show you like experiences in your era, in your era, in your area. But look it, I realize my balance is so high. I've racked up $251 literally to just get in gift cards to any of these places to get all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to do, Max is gonna be so freaking excited. Luckily there's still a Starbucks in Reading, um, Pennsylvania. I'm sure there's Starbucks everywhere, but I am going to get him gift cards and then send it to him. We can FaceTime him. He's going to be so excited. I'm going to be like, they're from Seated. Yeah, purchase 25 Seated dollars. I think I'll do two of these. So then that way he can have $50. Okay, literally, look at, just like that. Starbucks gift card, yay! And obviously, click the link down below to download Seated for free. Again, obviously, I would recommend use my code Gretchen Eats to get an extra ten dollars bonus on top of all the other rewards you've earned on Seated. There's no reason to not try it. You're literally just gonna get money back and all these gift cards to places that you already shop at just for eating out, which you already do also. So this app is like literally genius. But let's hope Max answers. He was texting me that he was sleepy, so I hope he's not like asleep. Hi, Bubby. Hi. Look at I have a surprise, so I'm filming you. Say hi. Hi. You're probably like, what is going on? What? 
Okay. Oh, wait. Ready? No. What? I just texted you something. It says delivered. What's that? What does it look like? Is that Starbucks? Yeah. What's that for? Guess what it's from? Seated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I literally told you that I was um, filming seated in my video yeah. today. <laughs> I just put money on my card too. This is great. Now you have even more. Starbucks yeah. forever. I was like, let's surprise Max because guess what? We didn't check our balance for so long from going out to eat so much, and there was like so much money on there. Oh my god. Yeah. Frick yeah. Yay. That's awesome. I was like, we'll surprise Max. He'll be so excited. I am. Now you have free coffee for, like, I don't know how long that lasts you, two days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could drink like three Venzies a day. <laughs> yeah, I had two yesterday, I think. Yay! Yeah. Look, it's like he's with us here together, everyone. <laughs> also, I just made oatmeal. It looks so yummy. I miss this with peanut butter and banana. I used to eat this like every day. Fun fact, at BU when I was a freshman in the dining hall because that's just what I liked the dining hall. But it's really hot, so while... I wait for it to cool off. See, I'm being really productive and efficient and not handy. What's the word? Responsible. Taking out the trash, so BRB. <laughs> so after I have my little breakfast, we're gonna keep rolling with this productive independent train and I actually have to go to Lululemon. I think I got a sports bra on like the wrong side. I have to exchange some stuff, return some stuff because I got my mom um, Lululemon leggings but if you guys saw in my video when I was home with her but I actually got her the wrong length so I ordered her the right length to her house and then I just have to return these ones. Stuff like that as you can see behind me. Oh my god. It's just a pile of clean clothes from all the laundry that I did so I have to, I have to fold that. And yeah, that's what's going on. Guys, Max is so cute, oh my God. He literally texted me back and he was like, yeah, they were, thank you, Bubby. That was very sweet of you. And thanks, he did, you're the best. He said, that's really nice too. I've been eating breakfast there like every day while I'm here. It'll save me money because he is in Newfoundland right now because they are playing games there and they're playing the team there. So yeah, that's really fun. And I think my friends would ask me about seated before and they would be like, oh, but like how do you get the gift cards like whatever and you literally just click like redeem and it brings you to that website that that company's website and then you get the gift card. So mm -hmm. after I like run my little errands or whatever, I am going to yoga later with Emma. That's going to be fun. Like yoga sculpt at Core Power. I might go grocery shopping. Oh, there's the good lighting. There it is. <laughs> and yeah, more house chores. Yay, laundry folding complete. I'm like clearly not the best, but <laughs> to start. Also, I'm in my underwear aren't folded. Do you guys fold underwear? Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Max, I'm filming this for you because you said I was never gonna do laundry when you left. And I did Taylor's too, so there. <laughs> guys, what a terrible <clears throat> idea. Ooh, my voice is kinda gone. I literally am sitting in traffic, driving to the Potential Center to try to go to Lulu to exchange some stuff. And it's a Sunday, and so there's gonna be no parking because parking is free on Sundays in Boston. And this was just a terrible time to come. It's like 4 p.m. now. So there's so much traffic on a Sunday. There's going to be no parking. I have to like get back home to go to yoga in a little with Emma anyway. So this was a terrible idea. I'm honestly going to end up like driving home, I bet. Because I'm not going to be able to find parking. And this will have to wait. Also, you guys, these are like my favorite leggings if you guys saw. I got them recently, but I ruined them in Hawaii on a hike. The mud will not come out in the wash. I put stain spray on them, everything will not come out. So I don't really know what to do with that. I'm going to ask them. So basically, I'm bringing them. I am all over the place. I'm so out of it um, because I'm going to ask them if they know how to get mud that's like stuck in these like 
cute white leggings out. I made it. I don't know how, but here we are. Okay, yay. That was quick and painless. Thank you, Lulu. Even though, guys, I literally picked the worst day. Do you see how crowded this is? Like, why did I choose to come here on a Sunday afternoon evening? I don't know. But now I have to, like, speed back so we can make it to yoga. <laughs> I made it <clears throat> that was so crazy that I just didn't realize or like I know weekends in like back bay in general and obviously like Boylston Street and Newberry Street are crazy but yeah I just forgot in like the parking situation or whatever so that was like bananas but I asked her about the leggings and she was like oh man that's sad see now you couldn't see better I was trying to show you in the car and it's not only there it's also there down there yeah and she was like I recommend you bring them to like a dry cleaner do you guys have any ideas I already used shout that little spray that you put on like your stained clothes but if you guys have any ideas it's literally this like Hawaiian mud I'm telling you just like doesn't come out of things also, you guys, um, I mean, I'll probably do it after yoga because I have to go in a bit. The white sneakers that everyone was like freaking out about that I brought, I didn't know that we were gonna go like ATVing and would need sneakers and that my white ones would get ruined, my like brand new white ultra boost. And so I washed them. There was like no way they were gonna get back to their truest white. And so I donated to them. Don't freak out because everyone was like, you're gonna throw them away. I donated them. And I donate a lot of clothes and stuff because. Um, I don't like living in clutter and there's way too much stuff and I already do anyway. So yeah, when I can donate stuff, I do. Don't worry about that. Oh, but the reason I'm saying that is because in my to-do list, I wrote order new Ultra Boost because I love the new version, the white one so much. So I, I'm just gonna order new ones. And you wanna know what I'm realizing? This whole video is just how obsessed I am with Seated. Okay, I literally have $201 left on there. Can you, you can't even see that. Yeah, and Adidas is on here, so I can just get Adidas gift cards, and then I think they're like free, so that would be like the best news I've heard all day, so I might try to do that later, and what else was I going to say? Oh, it's freaking hot. Why is it so hot in here? The cool is not on 75, 72. Huh. Anyway, I feel like whenever I need to like throw on something or switcher, I always put on this Aritzia pink sweatshirt you guys i don't even think they have it anymore because i got it a while ago during the sale but i'm just like so obsessed with it it's like oversized and just so cozy and if you're wondering it's a size two when they have oversized stuff it's like one two or three so yeah but i need to take it off now anyway because one i'm hot two i'm going to yoga and we'll see what i do after yoga with the rest of my alone time maybe we'll go grocery shopping cook dinner be responsible stuff like that i need to use this little tripod i'm using right now more because i feel like it just makes my life so much easier i can just set you up anywhere it might make the shots more stable too because i'm not holding it like this i'm holding it down here i don't know what do you think do you notice a difference also look at how beautiful the view is right now i'm just feeling like because i have more time to myself and my thoughts being here alone I'm just feeling really blessed like grateful all the time and privileged that I you know get to live in my like dream city and my dream apartment being so young and yeah I hope you guys know that I just never take any of it for granted but anyway we're gonna go to yoga so I can find even more of my soul and be in touch with myself you know stay grounded but yeah hello you can't even tell like how sweaty we are. I never knew how much my legs sweat until I got to yoga. My, my shins were dripping. Scary, but that was so good. I feel so good after that. Me too. My knee feels so much better. My knee was hurting before. And yoga helps it all. You guys, what the heck? I just got home. Look at the sun going down. It's like bright pink over there. That's so cool. Finally all showered and I made myself dinner. Honestly, the biggest struggle of being alone this weekend is getting myself to eat alone. I know that sounds like really sad, but I don't know. I just like would so much rather eat with someone because I just feel like lonely and I'm like, oh, I'll just do it later 
if I'm alone. That sounds really bad, but here's what I made for dinner. I just have a bunch of spinach. I have some nuts and some dried cranberries. And, oh yeah, candied walnuts, if you can see them. Those are my favorite. They make salads so bomb. They're basically like candy. They're just like walnuts covered in sugar. And then salmon that I made, I just put all over the top. And yeah, that's dinner. It's official, people. We are breaking out the mini Uggs for the season because I am going to Whole Foods really quick before Taylor gets back. And yep, are you ready for this? This is my Whole Foods outfit. Hopefully I run into literally no one. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for grocery shopping alone, you guys. I literally never grocery shop alone ever. Wait, I love squash. I kind of want acorn squash, but that's kind of a lot to make it. <clears throat> I'll show you guys everything I got when I got home, just because I don't really have any hands or anyone to help me, but just got some avos, gonna get some more veggies. It's just like a quick little, little Whole Foods shop. Bye, Whole Foods. Good thing I have my big, huge bag around my shoulder. It's so freaking heavy, but I'm just happy I remember because I'm so bad. Reusable bags. Taylor is probably almost back. I'm so excited. She's coming back right now. We missed her. The apartment's all clean. I started the dishwasher before I went to Whole Foods. I've been getting after it. You all will be very proud. Look who's home. I feel like we're both in such a sleepy That's vibe so right now. We could just pass right out on these couches. This is where we belong. This is our our home position. <laughs> I told them that I was going to show them my all the food I got at Whole Foods, and then I forgot because I unpacked it, and I was on FaceTime with my mom. But how about I just tell you what I got instead? What did I get? Cinnamon rolls, broccoli, um, avocados, hummus, a lemon ginger kombucha. I think we have a lot of, like, Pretzely Stacy's pita chip. We always say that we only have like really healthy food here, and I don't know what we're missing that's like yummy, but we're missing like yummy Some things. Fruit roll. Remember those Pop dark tarts? chocolate covered pretzels from Sam's Club when I used to get? Oh my god, so, so good. I think it's because we're shopping at like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. We need like like food from yeah, like first. from yeah from like grocery stores that have junk food like if you're shopping at Whole Foods it's hard to find junk food yeah that was like pretty much it mm. oh fruit I got banana and blackberry and grapefruit because yeah. it was looking at me and I was like I think I need that I had grapefruit the other, oh, when me and Maggie were in Hawaii, there was like a buffet when we were walking out of a hotel, and there was cut up grapefruit, and I was like, wow, I miss grapefruit. Remember when we had that in the home, we cut the triangles Yeah. And I ate oatmeal with peanut butter and banana today, and that reminded me how we would eat that like every day freshman year. I think I even like said that earlier. It was always me and Taylor at like 7 a.m. before our 8 a.m. chemistry class. And I actually really liked their oatmeal. They made it in a big, like, kettle. Not a kettle. What are those things called? It's like a... <laughs> a soup container. A soup? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I'm so tired all of a sudden. I'm wearing my new slippers that I love, 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 love. And... Oh, I wanted to show my vlog all of the notes because now I have all of them all right let's go over the notes basically I found all the notes that Max hid around my apartment obviously <laughs> Max used to live here with me and then he moved to Reading Pennsylvania for hockey so when he left he had notes like all around my apartment and there was 10 of them total and I found the last one today and I thought I would just go over them and talk about them really quick because I think they're really fun okay are you ready this is so fun I was actually texting his mom today and we were being so mushy. I was like, you raised such a nice young man because how thoughtful and sweet. And I'm like, I hope I'm as good of a mommy to raise such a good little boy. Anyway, <laughs> not to get out of myself. Anyway, let's just go. Actually, should we go in order? Because they're numbered. Okay, let's see. Number one. Hi, Bubby. It's me. You're probably making overnight oats for an early workout or something. But I wanted to say I love you, Bubba. That's number one. So this one was in my oatmeal container. This was like 
probably the second or the third one that I found and I was like that's so cute and I was just looking for the note a lot of these I was looking for the notes instead of actually doing what I was supposed to be doing number two hey pretty girl I miss you so much and can't wait to squeeze you soon her this one I remember especially because it's rolled up so tight this was on my shelf in my Christian Dior sandals taped so tight to the top of the shoe that he needed to help me because he was like go look on your shoe shelf or you know my shelf with like all my nice bags and shoes and I couldn't even tell it was there because it was like taped so tight so this was a good one <laughs> and he said in the beginning he was just hiding them and writing like nice little notes and he's like as I went on I realized I should like write about where they were and like the situation a little bit because I was like some of them were just like love you pretty girl and then other ones like have a lot of stuff that they're saying but I know you guys I saw your comments everyone's like that is like the sweetest thing ever and everyone's like I really started crying when I told you where he got the idea from my dad because my dad would always write me little notes and hide them in my stuff before he passed away so yeah this is also like really meaningful the scavenger hunt <laughs> is over I'm like I want more notes I want notes every day but um okay number three Hopefully you find this one packing to see me in Reading. Love you, babe. Heart. So that one was in my little Louis Vuitton duffel. And that one I was also looking for. I was just looking at all my stuff. And I keep a blanket in there so it stays like fluffed up and it doesn't just plop down. And I was reaching around the blanket and I was like, oh, I feel a piece of paper. <laughs> and I was actually packing the next day so I would have found it to go home to Albany for a day. So not to Reading, but to Albany. This one's number four. One of my fake picks together. Can't wait for a lifetime of nutcrackers. This one I started crying. <laughs> See you soon, lover girl. Number four. Oh, I showed this in a vlog because I remember being like, thinking that it was so crazy that the "see you soon" part really looks a lot like my dad's handwriting. See, look at you can even see. For example, my dad's handwriting, that's my dad's handwriting, saying XO from one of the notes that he wrote me. Um, wow, that's so crazy that it's really right next to us. You can kind of, you can't tell, but that looks very similar to his handwriting. So I thought this one was especially crazy. And the can't wait for a lifetime of nutcrackers really got me. It's right here on one of my nightstands. So yeah, this is on one of the nightstands. Just picture me and Max nutcracker when we went this winter and it was right on the back so that's where that one was okay we're on number five hi bubba if you find this one that means i'm so proud of you for doing the dishes see you soon beautiful heart so yeah that one was you know those like dishwasher pods like if you get like a little case of them that one was like taped inside the lid of there and i actually found that one towards the beginning as well because taylor was like i found one by accident like because taylor was here when i wasn't she was like i just left it there but um she's like you'll never find it it's something that you never do and i was like oh, it's definitely the dishes because i never do that but you guys so i did them this weekend um so I'm proud of myself but yeah so i found that when i wasn't doing the dishes but today i did do the dishes and i started the dishwasher big accomplishment for me i probably started the dishwasher like twice since i've lived here but that was that one. Oh, this one i don't know if i talked about this one yet this is funny this is uh oh if you found this one something needs fixing <laughs> this was taped to the drill and my alex drawers in my closet there's one drawer that's like a tool drawer and it has like screwdrivers it has this drill from me and max bought a drill and we like mounted my tv like all this stuff in there and i never go in there and um max was giving me hands on facetime and he's like it's something that i do for you and i was like you always fill my water bottle you always make my bed. He like does everything for me. He's the best. And then it hit me. I was like, oh, the tool drawer. So I found this on the drill. Uh-oh, have you found this one? Something needs fixing. Wish I was home to help. Call me before you start drilling anything, babe. Be safe. Love you, Bubba. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> so that was that one. Um, I wonder if Max knew that these would be exploited all over the internet. Is exploited the right word? Is that I was going to like show these in my videos. But I am because I think it's really cute and fun. And I see them in four days. And on FaceTime today I was like, this is almost making me more sad that it's like so close yet so far. Because before I'd be like, oh, don't think about it. It's really far away. But now I'm like, it's Sunday and I get to go see him on Thursday. And I just want it to be Thursday already. But I don't want to wish away time. I need to just chill and live in the moment. Anyway. This is number seven. Good night, Bubba. Happy you're wearing your blue light glasses. You're probably exhausted, but FaceTime means say good night. Love you, baby. Heart. Okay, so this is the last one I found. This one I found today. 
and basically I was like so shocked that these this was in my um, nightstand like drawer because that's where I had all of these this whole time like stacking up to keep them together and this was right next to it just in my Felix Grey blue light glasses case and I was like what the heck how did I not find that because I always wear my Felix Grey blue light glasses but what happened was I brought a pair to Y with me because I wore them like the whole way there on the plane the whole way back and I actually have two pairs so I was using the pair that I brought to Y like my second pair this whole time and so I didn't even look in that case to find this one because I was like no way like you definitely had Taylor like put that in there like today because I always use the blue light glass well Taylor wasn't here but you know what I mean I was just like shocked but yeah, so this was in my blue light glasses, and he was like, you're probably exhausted, but FaceTime me and say goodnight. Like, he knew I was going to, like, open it at night, except I actually opened it today during the day. But I thought that one was really cute. Number eight. No, oh, this one's the best. Ooh, yummy. Hopefully cinnamon buns are being made. This was on um, tape to the bottom of the pan that I always use to make cinnamon buns. I love that he, like, knew that that would only be used for cinnamon buns because that's really all it's used for. Can't wait to see you and eat them together soon. Love you so much. PSA one for Taylor. I, like, read this to Taylor, too. It's like, that's so cute. Okay, nine. Oh, this one I don't think I told you guys yet either. Woo, have a fun. Oh, no. Woo, have fun tonight. You're probably going out on the town if you found this one. See you soon and have a shot for me. Smiley face. Love you, babe. Heart. This was taped to the bottom of, uh, like, big Tito's in our kitchen. And I thought this one was so funny. And this one I actually found when I was supposed to find it. I took it down from, like, the shelf above our microwave. And I was like, what's that? <laughs> So that one's really funny. And no, I didn't take a shot. Oh, sorry, Max. <laughs> Number 10. This is the very first one I found. Hi, babe. There may or may not be nine other notes like this one. I love you so much and can't wait to see you soon. Make sure to text or face me each time you find one. And I was like so naive when I found this one. It was curled up in the little part of my water bottle. I know I talked about that. And I was like, oh, these ones are all going to be, all these notes are going to be in like plain sight. So I'm looking everywhere. I'm like, why are there no other notes? It's not like an easy Easter egg hunt. These were like deep in things. <laughs> they were like not easy to find. Actually, the last one was in my Felix Grey eyeglass case, like I told you guys today, like the blue light glasses. But Max thought it was in my ring light case which is like under my bed and then it's like the ring light case and then it's like the ring light that would have been so deep i like barely ever use my ring light and so he was like um i told him that i was filming this video with seated today and he was like oh he was trying to give me a hint he was like oh you might use this um, to film for seated today and I'm like oh so it's gotta be like filming equipment I went and I looked at my DSLR that I like never use wasn't in there my tripod all sorts of stuff and I was like the ring light and I looked in there and he was like oh I thought it was in there <laughs> he like didn't remember where he hid it and then um he remembered and it was in my blue light glasses case but yeah that's the recap of all the notes if you cared I know I just talked about them for 10 minutes but Max when you're watching this I just want to let you know how sweet that was and how this made us being long distance like so much better I honestly have been in a really good like mindset about it all and headspace and it's funny because it's been almost three weeks and from the beginning I couldn't even imagine like it sounds crazy but having to like sleep alone in my bed like I you guys know I just hate being alone and would much rather have like someone with me all the time and a companion but I know this has been good for me because there are going to be times in life that I need to be able to be alone like right now and now I'm like wait I'm totally okay at sleeping alone then I can sprawl out and I don't have to worry about anyone like getting in my way and um I've just been cleaning a lot <laughs> I've been really productive really efficient and yeah just staying really busy and i feel like that's well that's what's best for me some people love their like rest and relaxation but i faced my mom today and um we're just so different and she's like gretchen you were just so high energy like i love when i'm around you like you motivate me and she's like you're like aunt chris like mandy's mom of you guys and my cousin mandy my mom's sister so my aunt chris um she is just like go 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 like high energy like me and i really am like i'm like mom I don't think I could tell you like one time that I sat today like hi and we're just always doing something but yes now it's bedtime um this vlog is probably extremely long but like what else was I gonna do this weekend that I spent a lot of time alone but also I did see my friends a lot so I need to not 
<laughs> be dramatic. Oh my god, imagine if it was like me alone for like three days straight. I like might go crazy, I don't know. And FaceTime makes it like, like I feel like Max is like low-key. Like I know he's not here, but since I like FaceTime him so much, I FaceTime my mom and I FaceTime Lucy and like I'm okay. You know, I was FaceTiming Brooke, I FaceTimed Arlen today, like yeah. So anyway, going to end up my vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend's vlog and get excited to see Max really soon. <laughs> okay, love ya, bye. Okay, P.S. It's the next day. Um. I have a little face mask on. I don't know why it's drawing like kind of clear, but guys, look what I'm doing. I'm literally paying $30 for my new Ultra Boost, even though they're supposed to be 180 because I use three seated gift cards. Like, are you kidding me? Because I have to get new ones because you guys saw I ruined the ones in Hawaii. I just don't want to show you like my other like address or anything. Um, but yeah, like what? And I was going to get another 50 because I have $51 left in my balance, but then I was like, oh, I'll have 20. Oh. See, there's like restaurants in there, but I was like, then I'll have twenty dollars left over. So like, what would I do with that? So yeah, this just worked out perfect. And now paying almost, well, I was gonna pay like almost two hundred dollars for my new sneakers, and I only have to pay thirty. So best day ever. And yeah, this vlog is actually gonna end right now. See you later. Bye.